Kaepernick blames Trump for his inability to land another NFL contract. Former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick, the currently unemployed NFL player who rose to notoriety last year by starting a disrespectful and widely panned protest against the national anthem, blames President Donald Trump for his inability to land another contract. That's right, the guy who made it his mission to disrespect America's veterans every time he played would rather blame someone else for the crash and burn of his career which frankly had already been on the ropes because of his pitiful on-the-field performance. It's like he's the male version of failed Democrat presidential nominee Hillary Clinton, a.k.a. the queen of blaming others. Regardless, as Conservative Tribune already reported earlier this week, Kaepernick has filed a grievance against the NFL, on the grounds the league has been colluding to keep him from playing. We now know Kaepernick intends to focus this woe is me grievance on the president by arguing Trump's tweets and public statements calling for NFL owners to punish players who disrespect the anthem and somehow spur team owners into action. Citing an unidentified source, CBS Sports reported that the influence and power of President Donald Trump will be a central element in Colin Kaepernick's collusion grievance against the NFL identifying the culture fostered by the leader of the free world as a factor in teams failing to extend the contract offer for workout invitation to the former Super Bowl quarterback since he became a free agent in March. For the former NFL player to win his case, however, he must prove collusion occurred, and that it had been triggered by Trump's remarks. I suppose proving this should be as easy as proving Trump colluded with the Russians to affect the outcome of the 2016 presidential election. FYI, former FBI Director Robert Mueller has been investigating the alleged Trump-Russia collusion for months now as special counsel, and not a shred of evidence has yet been made public proving this ever happened. Dovetailing back to Kayer Pernick. Keep in mind the president didn't even speak out fiercely against the protests until just last month, when he asked attendees at a rally for Alabama Senator Luther Strange whether they would love to see one of these NFL owners, when somebody disrespects our flag, to say, get that son of a bee off the field right now. By then, Kaepernick had already been unemployed for months, and or good reasons, as noted by the wild card, he struggles with short to mid-range passes. He can't play with a lead. He gets worse in the game as it goes along. He has issues when throwing on the most important down. And he throws interceptions early and unnecessarily. Basically, he's a lousy player, and one with a lousy attitude, to boot. Of course nobody wants to hire him. Who would? Please share this story on Facebook and Twitter and let us know what you think about Colin Kaepernick trying to blame the crash and burn of his career on President Trump. What do you think about Kaepernick's grievance? Scroll down to comment below. Below.